Hi, my name is Iniedo and you are watching News Pop. Hello and welcome to the second episode of Crime This Week here on News Pop NG, where we will give you the facts on what's trending in the crime scene. You also get to know tips on how to better safeguard yourself from getting entangled in crime cases. So subscribe to this channel now, also click on the notification bell below to be the first to get notified whenever there is a new episode of Crime This Week. I am blessing Izija. So let's get started with some of the top crime stories for this week. All this ammunition, I don't know, I know, I know, I know anything about this ammunition. A strange scenario played out this week in Epoma, Edo State, where a police officer was seen running over a man in handcuffs with a car. From the video, it is unclear why the man was lying down in the middle of the road and the police running over him in a car. First PRO Olumuyiwa Adejobi reacted to the video in a tweet. Quoting him, he said, this is unpleased. I don't think a normal human being can do this to crush a man with a car. This is unbelievable. I have personally contacted the CP Edo on this. We need to take urgent action on the matter. It's strange to me as a person. Hopefully, investigations are ongoing to get to the root of the matter and also fish out the perpetrators of this brutality. From prank to prison, Ibadan-based prankster Abdullah Imaruf, also known as Trinity Guy, is now facing a court case as a result of his extreme video content, especially on a particular one involving a minor. Trinity Guy started off his prank content in 2018 by removing the wigs of random women on the streets. Then he continued with other prank videos on both men and women. However, a particular prank video content landed him in prison. A 2022 video of the skit maker resurfaced on the internet where he was sexualizing a minor. Now, it is a tale of from prank to prison for Trinity Guy. First PRO CSP Olumuyiwa Adejobi reacting to the video called for his arrest. The Oyo State Police Command arranged the skit maker and parents of the 10-year-old minor in court. However, if the skit maker is found guilty of the offense, he is liable of 15 years imprisonment under the 2006 Child Rights Law. The court also ordered that the little girl's parents in the video be remanded alongside Trinity Guy in Agodi Correctional Facility over the alleged sexual exploitation of the 10-year-old girl till the next sitting, July 11. There was a reported case of police harassment and exploitation by a Twitter user at Okoye Donaldson. Okoye disclosed on Twitter how he was harassed and exploited the sum of 350,000 Naira by some police officers in Imo State. According to the Twitter user, the police first framed him up as a member of the Eastern Security Network, which is ESN, and which is a paramilitary organization of a separatist group in Nigeria, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. The police defrauded Okoye of his money and assaulted him physically. Reacting to the case, the Imo State Police PRO, Henry Okoye, took the matter up disclosed that the victim has been refunded his money in full while the erring officers will be sanctioned. The victim, Okoye, while commending the police PRO, also confirmed that he had been paid his money back. Suspected child prostitution kingpin and human trafficker, Ikpiri Amaka Okonkwo, also known as Ukuvenza or Madame Padded, has been arrested for running a prostitution gang and exploiting several underage girls in Anambra State. Reports disclose that Madame Padded was jointly apprehended by the Women and Social Welfare Commissioner Ifi Ibinabo and the Anambra State Police Command after being lured to a certain location in Oka. Similarly, in Akwaibom State, 
one Gabriel Okon has been arrested by the police for allegedly selling his nine-year-old son for the sum of 400,000 Naira. Okon, upon interrogation, said the devil and economic hardship of the country led to his actions. And there is yet another case of child abuse involving a little boy and his stepmother, Austin Maureen Ukamaka in Enugu State, who brutalized her stepson. Ukamaka uses a hot spoon to flog her stepson, giving him several wounds on his body. According to reports, he was always locked up in the room where he defecates in the same room. This is very sad. Why subject a child to such inhumane act? Meanwhile, the suspect has been arrested by the police. There is a reported case of sexual harassment on women by some suspected group of non-indigenous Fulani young men in Abuja who have been noticed to troop into the country, mostly during the Muslim Salah celebrations or other festive seasons. According to a social media user who shared her experience, she disclosed that some group of non-indigenous Fulani young men at the ShopRite Bridge in FCT during the Eid celebration tried to harass her physically, but she managed to defend herself and stop them. The Twitter user also narrated how her friend was once harassed by a set of similar groups in 2022. Do remember, safety is a continuous effort. Stay alert and prioritize your safety at all times. But wait, subscribe to this channel, like and share this video and drop your comments down in the comment section. I am Blessing Ezeja. See you in the next episode of Crime This Week. For more interesting news, for more interesting vibes, for more gossip news, keep it locked to News Pub. We got you covered. They'll tell me we must say so. Thank you.